Hi guys, welcome to YN Tutor. This is lesson number 33 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful emboss effect on the text. As you can see that I have here texture, wooden texture. In that wooden texture, we have text that is embossed and having shadow. And outside, you can see that here we have a border. Okay, that is embossed also. As you can see from the outside, it is having light shadow and from inside you can see that it is dark same thing with the text we have as you can see here from the right side we have here dark shade inside and from the left side we have a, a bright white shade and separately also we apply shadow effect you can see that we have a shadow here so let's see how it's done let me move that things here zoom tool zoom to page height and i am going to import this image that we have here the texture file import and you can see that i have here one texture wooden texture i am going to import this you can download any texture from internet and you can practice click it and import i will place on my page this way all right so the first thing i want to change the color mode of this image it is a little bit dull so while it is selected i will go to the bitmap and here we have image adjustment lab click it and slightly move the temperature to the left so you can see that we have a saturation and it is a little bit more colorful so click ok we will create this effect with a very simple and easy trick I will do it step by step so the first thing we need to create the text so go to the text tool we have text here and simply type text I can type here anything emboss okay go to the pick tool so we can change the font here I apply this font impact you can also use some bold font so the result it will appear nicely you will be able to see the result clearly so here we have text now we are going to create one rectangular shape around this text so go to rectangle tool and simply draw one rectangle okay and uh, we can fill it with the color so you can see it is in front of the text so let's bring the text in the front click on the text you can press ctrl home key from the keyboard or you can go to the object order and to front of the page so now the text is in front of the rectangular box just move it here we don't need to center it is not really important now what we are going to do we are going to select both the rectangle and text rectangle is selected already press shift key and click on the text okay actually we are going to trim this text with the rectangular shape so here we have option you can see that click on trim now the text is trimmed with this rectangular shape click outside and move this text out as you can see that from this rectangle we can see through so what we are going to do we are going to make another copy of this okay so we have one here press plus key and make another copy and this copy I will fill it with the black okay so we have here two trimmed shape one is white and one is black both of them one by one we are going to convert to bitmap so select the white remove outline we don't need bitmap convert to bitmap okay and then click ok once it is converted we need to apply effect blur effect so since it is bitmap we can apply now blur go to bitmap blur and gaussian blur okay here we can adjust the amount i am going to type here 8 maybe it is enough and then click ok so this is how we blur this object same thing we will do with this black also select this black okay go to bitmap convert to bitmap and click ok once it is converted apply the same effect bitmap blur 
and Gaussian blur. Same amount, 8 is OK and then click OK. Now here we have two blurred shape, one is white and one is black. So the trick is we are going to intersect this text with the both. OK, but how? Let me show you. Bring this text here on this white. OK, position the text this way. Look at this. Slightly to the left. So you can see that here it is overlapping, but here you can see the area from the texture. So this how you need to displace little bit. OK, so you need to give the position this way. Now I am going to intersect this. So while the text is selected, select this white shape by pressing shift key, click it. So now the text and this blurred object is selected. Simply click on intersect. Once you will click on intersect, we got intersected part. So we don't need this anymore. Delete it. Okay. The intersected part is under the text. Actually, if I will move this, you will be able to see, you can see that here we have this. Now the same thing we are going to do with this black. Okay. So let me move it here. This text now I can apply another color so we can see clearly this way. And this here, again, we will position our text, but this time we are going to position to the right. Okay. This way. Look at this. Now here we can see through the texture this way. Okay. This little bit, I move it to the right and uh, text is selected. We are going to press shift key and click on the blurred shape and simply click on intersect. So now this is intersected from the right side. Delete this. Okay. And we can move our text and you can see that here we have another version. So now we are going to connect simply these two together. Make sure that your object snap, it is active. Go to the view, snap to, and here we have object. Okay. This should be checked here. So we can connect it from the corner. So let's connect it from the corner, hold it from the corner and bring it here. I will just zoom it to connect perfectly. All right. That's all. You can see that here we have embossed text, but still we need to improve. We need to apply also drop shadow. So for that thing, we need to use again text. Let's position it first in the middle. Okay. And you can see that here we have text. Now we need to create the shadow. You can see that we have drop shadow and this shadow we cannot apply to this text directly from our drop shadow tool because it will cover inside because this is transparent. Okay. We don't have anything here. So once you will apply this shadow, it will not work. So we are going to create shadow by using blur. Okay. Manually we will create shadow. It's very easy. Bring this text here. Okay. And uh, we are going to make another copy of this text. Press plus key from the keyboard. So in the same place, you can see that I have another version of the same text. I will fill it with the black. Okay. And this what I am going to convert into bitmap this text. So bitmap convert to bitmap. Click OK. Apply blur same way bitmap blur. And here we have Gaussian blur. Click it same amount. It's OK. And then click OK. So you can see that the blur is applied to this text. Now simply we are going to get the trimmed part from this text. First thing I will bring this white text in the front, select this text, go to object order to front of the page. Now you can position the way you want the shadow this much. I think it's okay. This will be our shadow the way you can see the black. Now white text, it is selected. We need to select this blur text, press shift key and click it. Both of them are selected and you can see here we have option back minus front this one. So click it. So here we get this nice shadow, but it is still, it's really sharp, but we are going to connect first, hold it from the corner and just connect it to this text here. Okay. Zoom it and position it properly by using arrow key. You can adjust it. Okay. That's fine, but it is really dark here. We are going to apply transparency to our shadow. So go to the transparency tool and simply click on uniform transparency. So you can see that 
now we have a soft shadow around this embossed text another thing in our effect you can observe here the black shade inside the text it's too sharp so for this thing also we can use transparency click it look at this now this part is selected go to transparency and simply apply uniform transparency 50 percent so it is now smooth and still you can control here if you want you can make it 40 maybe so that is fine that is nice and uh, you can see the text is ready it's perfectly embossed and we apply shadow around now what we are going to do is uh, to apply this border around our frame actually this is not a border this is just a simple trick here with this object the shadow is black that we apply and outer object is a duplicate of this same texture and we apply inner shadow okay so i will show you how to use this trick we will apply first drop shadow to this background so click on drop shadow preset and we can apply medium or large glow it's okay and here we have a color we can choose dark color outside it's way too much here we will apply only three maybe and you can see that it's uh, appear around we need to reduce the transparency somehow 50 or maybe less than okay that's nice now the shadow is applied what we are going to do we are going to copy this object okay select all we can a little bit reduce the size okay so select it press plus key so you can see that if you will press plus key without shadow our texture is copied if i want shadow with this i can select it with the shadow and the shadow will appear around this texture but i did not do intentionally because i want to show you another option how to copy shadow from one object to another so that is this way you can select the image here and go to effect okay go to effect copy effect and you can see that here we have a drop shadow from okay click it and simply click on this drop shadow so look at this this how we can get the same effect we are going to position once again our object here okay and i will send it back object order to back of the page and we are going to make it bigger in size from the side this way all right just position it the way you want for me it is okay now and you can see the shadow it is applied from outside so here we need to change the shadow property now the first thing we need to change the color let's apply some similar color to this texture so we can click on eyedropper here and click in this texture so here we got similar color and now we can get the darker version of this color click on the color click on more and here is the color that is applied i can just bring this somewhere here so you can see the new color here and click ok so this is little bit more dark here we need to change this feather edges click it and click on squared and second thing we need to change the feather direction to inside okay once you will click inside you can see that simply the shadow it's disappear so what we can do here now we are going to apply transparency first here we can make it now 100 we will apply transparency to this texture so go to transparency and click on uniform transparency and look at this once i apply uniform transparency a beautiful result we achieve here it looks like there is a light from outside actually it is drop shadow that we change the direction to inside look at this and since our color in the drop shadow we change to this so that's why we achieve this beautiful result now if you want you can control this brightness here if you want to reduce you can just give the amount let's say 2 and press enter so this is how we can manage let's apply 3 maybe okay so that's fine and uh, i am happy with this result you can see that this how 
beautiful embossed effect with a simple trick we achieve on our text and we apply border to our frame by using drop shadow technique. Let's zoom our frame now. So this is how beautiful artwork we have. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.